Hello everybody, I'm Master Rolfus, and we're going to continue our General Mortars campaign of Sins of the Prophets as the UNSC. So, when we last left off, we were just about done colonizing our little dwarf frozen planet over here, called Nortia, and we're probably going to move on, uh, move on over to this planet, and then maybe possibly conquering Hy Hypatia? Hypatia? Well, however you pronounce that. Now, I was actually looking back at my credit situation for a little bit. I've noticed that a lot of my planets are actually producing very little credits. And that's mostly due to the fact that they're very, very underdeveloped. So, we're going to have to try and save up enough credits to get some civilian infrastructure going. Which kind of sucks, but that's kind of how the cookie crumbles, actually. So, let's go ahead and set up some civilian infrastructure. We can sell some metal in order to speed this process up. I think in general, we should really get some civilian infrastructure, probably on a lot of these secondary planets that are around our capital, actually, such as Dortia, Paria, and Pironin. And then we'll have Dwarka as, I guess, the last one that we're going to upgrade with civilian infrastructure, but that's about it. Let's see, currently, this planet is... At 3.0 under development tax rate, which means. Orbital structure complete. Yeah, a ton of tax income is being completely negated, which kind of sucks. And currently, our tax income rate is 4.4, .4, so that should increase once we get out of the infrastructure. Like the view. Alright, so are we planning to move forward? We do have some really weak frigates. I might want to pull them back, actually, and have my capitals take up most of the fighting. In fact, let's go ahead and do that. Sending the frigates over here. Well, not the frigates, the capitals. Just because I don't want to lose any frigates, actually. Alright, good. Good, good, good. Now we're making negative 2.3, which is... Which is a massive improvement, to be honest. Granted, it's not exactly the quick fix we wanted, but you know what? You know what? It's a It's progress. It is progress. Orbital structure complete. Okay, so Nortia, you need 450 credits, you need a bunch of metal, a bunch of crystal, that kind of sucks. You know what, why can't we just grind down my general to, you know, uh, uh, I guess a scrap heap? Sell off all of his, I guess, useless parts and then use them to essentially build ships or construct buildings. I mean, come on now. He doesn't need the headlights. What's, what's, what is he going to do? Blind the enemy to death? I see you. Can't really afford to build more more ships because I need to fix out my credit situation, which kind of sucks overall. But we're three in ships, so we're not exactly the worst civilization. Maybe the second worst, but I don't know. Well, we're the third worst actually. But and again, a lot of our ships are pretty good actually, in my opinion. I think they're very very good. I see we've made a few upgrades. Oh yeah, and a little bit of some corrections from the last video. Apparently the Spirit of Fire, the capital ship that is very famous in Halo Wars, is actually in this game. And you know what uh, kind of ship it's, it's called in this game? The Phoenix Assault Ship. This ship over here is apparently the, spirit, um, the capital ship class that the Spirit of Fire is from. Which is really, really irritating because I played about 200 hours of Halo Wars and I had no idea. No idea whatsoever that I was looking straight into the face of the Spirit of Fire, which kind of sucks. But oh well. This planet actually kind of sucks a little bit. It's a tad too small. But oh well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No, 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 no. As long as we just get enough crystals and credits, we should be good. Oh, ha, 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 ha. fire salvos, yes. Get completely Shrek, son. Let's not outstay our wealth. Still haven't found any cubbies. Forces have engaged the enemy. So far, so good. We're making progress through the night sky. Alright, then you are next. Still have some crystal, and we just have to wait for our metal crystal levels to come back to normal then afterwards we can get out the next uh, civilian infrastructure which is pretty good pretty damn good okay how many credits are you making me now 0.7 yeah really it's a bit terrible in my opinion then again 
population is slowly and slowly growing in the city. Well, not the city, the, the planet itself. And once the population gets all the way to, I guess, 30? Right, that's where it goes up to? Yeah, 30. Credit situation should get a lot better. Also, some upgrades would help us out a lot more as well. Maybe high density zoning. In fact, let me go ahead and maybe get out high density zoning. That should help a little bit. Ooh, wait. Oh, this is just improved structures. I thought this uh, modular architecture actually helps out our st ships and makes them a little bit more cheaper. That would have been really cool. All right, let's also get repair platform. Currently, our research is at two, colonization is at one. Everything else is kind of shit, but that's okay. Because early game, everything is pretty shit for the UNSC. Uh oh. Seriously? We can only upgrade this by one? That kind of blows. I guess a lot of these plans just will not yield a lot of credits because they're pretty damn small. We need a, a volcanic exploitation right away so that we can colonize that little shit rock over there. Hmm, Albaltive Crust. Plant health is increased, but in general, development cost will be a bit more than I would like it. However, we do get three uh, metal asteroids over there, which is pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. Okay, things are getting a lot better. Just need you to grow. Keep making babies. Come on. Soon, my brother. Soon, you will be the jewel of the empire. Research order complete. Now with high density zoning, we can uh, get even more pop, pop, which is good. Wait a minute, hold on a sec. Who needs an escort? Hold on a sec. Why is the population here not filled up? That kind of sucks. Oh well. Repair platform. How do I get that? Actually, you know what? We can get a repair platform probably in this dwarf volcano planet, and we can use that as like a forward base. That'll be way better. UNSC cannot afford your request at the moment. Alrighty, then we can get more ships, I think, for the most part. Since our credit situation is getting a little bit better. Ah, uh, still bad though. God, four in credits, really? Planet side infrastructure complete. I do hate how we have the economy of like a third world country. Hmm, trade ports would be pretty cool. Yeah, if we set up a trade port over here, and then go from this planet all the way to Hypatia, we should get a really good trade network going that could pass through Pyrenean and kind of just give us a, a lot of good stuff. I, I'm really sorry if I'm mispronouncing these plants, by the way. You know what? I'm just going to call this shithole. I'm going to call this shithole, and I'm going to call... What else do I have a tr uh, trouble pronouncing? Probably every single planet, to be honest. Except for this one. Lubov. Lubov. Are these actual covenant planets? I feel like they're not covenant planets. Well, actually, no, no. Are these actual human planets? What am I saying? Covenant planets. Like the elites would actually help out the humans. Well, they do at the end of the day, but... That takes, like, three games for that to happen. Alright, come on. Come on, baby. Master of Rothness needs a new shiny planet so that he can arbitrarily get higher in these rankings. Look at this. New number uno, me. Haha. <laughs> Situation update, please. I mean, granted, we make a lot more resources than a lot of other factions. If I'm reading these points right. Situation update, please. Come on, come on. A new colony has been there we go. The UNSC has gained another territory. Now, I would love to get out the repair platform here, like I said beforehand. So it costs a lot of crystals, so we can afford to sell some and get you right over here. I see we've made a few upgrades. Set a course. Where is my rally point? There we go. Here, let's just put it right over there. Together. Bring all my ships to that volcano planet. That's going to be our reach. You know, that's going to be the helm of the empire, the frontiers. Well, until we conquer these two planets, in which case, then, it won't be our frontiers anymore. 
Oh, we can upgrade this even more. Ooh, we can get more population. It is an archipelago planet after all. Is there anything that can increase my growth rate? Hmm. Max population, but not... But not something that increases the growth rate. Just max population. Well, I mean, it would be nice to get that. But then again, trade port's really important. Because that can also help our credit situation. Come on, planets. Grow. Grow. Please grow. Oh, shithole. You're still a shithole. You're just draining my income. You know, these specializations could actually help out a little bit. Let's see. Social specialization. Get more population. Get more population growth. But less trade income and less ship build rate. Ooh, that's actually really bad. Especially since this planet currently has my frigate factories as well as my capital factories. And we also want to try and get a trade port here. I might just get industry specialization. That should be pretty cool. Let's go ahead and get that. Because we're about to get the trade network. Orbital structure complete. Now, a DEFCON ops would be awesome. Especially once we get out these uh, MAC cannons over here. The Hepatitis... Wait a minute, hold on. Is that a MAC cannon? No, that's not a MAC cannon. That's a automated construction unit. Oh, okay, I'm a big, big fat liar, but... This does allow us to get star bases. Why did I say Matt Cannon? Ah, uh, the Shiva launch tubes. Ah, the Wrath of Kali. Yes. Yes, indeed. And the scorn of Shiva. Additional research you can launch thousands of nukes and destroy all those coveys. E.T. will definitely be phoning home in hell. Planet cannot afford to request at the moment. Planet side infrastructure complete. Oh, come on now. You can, you can spare me a few dosh here and there. Oh, so close. Yeah, there we go. We can get a Nordotech for this one. Are you serious? I mean, another rank into this one? Damn. This plan is going to be a trade heaven. Yeah, we're definitely going to get a trade port over here. What's the trade port look like? That's the uh, Dorosis Commercial Station. Okie dokie. Alright, it seems like we're 3-3 three and three in capital ships and fleet. But overall, we're doing pretty damn good. We do need to get this yeah, rank in basic officer training. Still credits. Big problem. Orbital structure complete. I mean, thank God it's getting a lot better. Let's just see if maybe a quick trade port would help end this whole stalemate. I think maybe I put too many resources into research, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. The, if this is what I get for making my citizens super smart, then you know what? I'm a bad guy. I'm, I'm a bad guy. Research order complete. Now, we really need to get the Fervorous Exploitation tech. Because that will allow us to take this planet. I think maybe we should try and start taking this planet right now, actually, by clearing out the remnants of whoever the hell is over there. Granted, let's wait for these two frigates to get around to meeting up with the rest of our fleet. Well, let me definitely actually get out a ship. We can't get a trade port here because our logistics is filled up. That's just groovy. Well, I guess we could delete a tech here, but then we have to waste even more resources building it up again. I guess we could just like bypass it. That, that can work, I guess. Might be just so crazy and stupid to walk. There's a commercial station right over there. And this should be the beginning of a new age. Oh, someone just passed us. In colonization. What a douche. Whoever that is, your planets are now mine. Part of the Unice Empire. Led by General Motors himself. Situation update. Okay, so then we move out. And then we're totally going to save up as much eco as we can for this tech. I mean, since we now have like three trade ports on the way. We gotta play things smart, you know? We can't go gun ho all the time, otherwise I'm gonna lose all my ships. And we can't obviously go 
a super strong military leader because we just don't have the income. Later on we will, but that's you know, that's gonna take some time. We're gonna have to build up baby steps essentially. Baby steps. I see we've made a few upgrades. Yes we did. Gave you some nukes. Let's not Hope you fancy them. Let's not okay, now I got the tech. Let's go get this. Let's sell some metal. Good, good, good. Currently probably get out this? Yep, that would be swin diddling awesome. Let's see, do I want to get the Phoenix class colony ship or do I want to get the Star Wart class frigate? Probably the frigate Chiron would be pretty cool. Yeah, I'm gonna have to prepare for some flood defense actually. When I do fight the flood. Oh well. Oh all, all in good time. All in good time. Alright, friends. Blow the crap out of that ship. Ooh, look at that. Ships are so small that you can't really see them that well. Oh, there we go. Oh, look how tiny the frigates are. They're like little cockroaches in space. Sweet. That was a nice kill. Okay, I just need my forces to focus on... One ship at a time. Like the view. Who needs an escort? I see we've made a few upgrades. Yes, we did make a few upgrades. Thank you for noticing. Ha ha. Wonder what these bombers actually look like. Holy moly guacamole, they're massive. They're pretty damn cool. Oh shit. These missiles are amazing. Are you trying to focus on my frigates? It's a bad idea because capital ships are a lot better. So far, so good. This battle is going very, very well. Yon class carrier. I'm gonna remember that. Oh, hold on a sec. Build rate increase, cost decrease. Oh, it's awesome actually. Let's get two ranks into this. Oh, we can only get one? Okay. It's all goofy. You know what? I maybe want to try and get up more military tech. Maybe. I don't know. Ooh, super care. Dermopoli super carriers. That would be pretty cool. What are the Dermopoli super carriers, actually? Huh. Ah. Those badass things. ODST drop pods, Shiva nuclear missile, rapid manufacturing, and coordinate bombard, coordinated bombardment as well as fleet command. Yeah, these are the badasses of the fleet, and they have the most armor and the most health. So you definitely want to get out of Dermopoli super carrier. However, we don't have the income to support one, so right now I'm not even going to touch that. Some of these, however, are pretty good techs. I want them to get more tanky ships, to be honest. Okay, how's the trade port going? Are we making a ton of income? Should be. Gotta clear out those savages. Now let's go explore the planet. You can never go wrong exploring a planet. Who knows, maybe you might find the left nutsack of the Prophet of Truth. You never know. You really never know. Oh, come on, you're fucked. I heard you, you still firing. Research order complete. Yeah, this, this plant's mine now. Situation update, please. I'll clear it with Admiral okay, and finally, with this planet under our control, we can set up a vast trade network and conquer the world. In fact, let's get more industry specialization to increase our trade income. Ah, uh, now everything 333, but our research is now 3. That sucks. Fleet is now 3 as well. Just, just terrible. It's terrible. We're just, the ranks are arbitrary numbers. They're going down. No. Our research should get better when we get rapid development. Situation update, please. Planet side infrastructure complete. A new colony has been founded. 
Okie dokie. So they're from most, we need to get out as many of these mines as possible. Oh, come on. Let me... uh, please, let me just build as many as I can. Look how much metal we can get. We can build 100 Paris class frigates. 200 maybe. Tops. This plan's gonna be huge. And the plan health is pretty damn massive. And once we get out of trade port here, oh man. Get some civilian infrastructure as well. Situation update, please. Oh, a ton of income. It's gonna be groovy. Orbital structure. Hmm, Paris class frigate. Paris class frigate compared to our star warts. They do a little bit more damage. Yeah, we can get one. Maybe a little bit more. Because we need a, a stronger navy, to be honest. You can never go wrong with a stronger navy. Research order complete. Now, the only thing different about the Paris class ships is that they do a little bit more damage and they cost a little bit more. That's really about it. I just really want to get out another tech from Navcom that will allow us to get basic officer training and get us more capital ships. Because more capital ships would be awesome, actually. Especially since we have to mass out a ton of ships in order to actually compete against the Covenant. Well, look at that. Metal production is going very well. Everything else is crap. Space jump complete. Okay, let's get that trade port really quick. And that's all we have to do for this planet. One civilian infrastructure rank has been uh, completed, which is good. Trade port's about to be established, which means we'll get out a nice little network from Lebov all the way to Hypatia. Uh, shithole is still going to be bypassed because shithole is a shithole. Yeah, trade income to the a lot better. I mean, there is trade between the planets, right? They, they do trade, correct? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure they trade, yeah. They, they probably go back and forth. Yeah, they, there we go, right over there. They're trading, bam. Good, 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 good. You don't have like isolated city-states, because that would be an issue. Over here, we can get out a commercial station and then link it up with this capital planet. I do know that the Covenant have some issues with trade, but the UNSC don't, so should be pretty much A-OK. -okay. In fact, yeah, we have a lot of tech that actually is geared towards trade. So all around, we're going to have a stronger economy. Again, late game UNSC is god tier, but we have to survive till the late game. We, we have to survive till the late game. That's really about it. Anyway, my name is Astro Office, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for... Enjoying the videos, I guess. Blah, 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 bye. -bye.